Hi guys, welcome back to the Drone Files. In this video, we have a review of the Tron XY X5S 3D printer, which is a sub $300 3D printer kit and it is available at Gearbest. Um, it is currently a very popular model because it is one of the few DIY kits that are very affordable and features a Core XY design. Uh, if you're not familiar with what Core XY means, it means uh, the 3D printer's stepper motors are stationary and none of them move in any way whatsoever. So this uh, is a more advanced design approach. Uh, it reduces the problems caused by inertia of uh, the moving stepper motors which creates vibrations on a 3D printer. and. Um, Another good thing about the X5S is the uh, print bed does not move back and forth along the Y axis. It moves up and down along the Z axis which greatly reduces uh, vibration that you often get with 3D printers that have the uh, bed moving along the Y axis. So uh, prior to building the X5S, I have actually built the X3S first. and. Uh, the X5S also has uh, many similar problems uh, that you you get with the X3S. Um, the, let me begin with the uh, quality control. As usual, the X5S uh, that I have here had some missing uh, missing parts such as uh, missing screws. Uh, it also had a missing uh, mount for the chain link toe for the print bed, and. Um, a few other critical stuff such as uh, some of the wires were also mislabeled. For example, I have the uh, I discovered that the three D uh, the thermistor wire was uh, labeled as the fan wire, while, uh, while the uh, fan wire was given the uh, thermistor label. So, if you're wiring this three D printer, make sure you uh, trace the wires back to the source and then make sure that you are connecting them correctly because you never know when you're gonna get uh, mislabeled wires. Apart from that, um, the X5S is actually quite easy to build. I was actually quite surprised that uh, quite a number of parts came pre-assembled. For example, the uh, hot end assembly came fully assembled and it even included the uh, chain link which had its uh, all the wires installed. Now, if you install chain, link, chain links before, you'll know that this is quite a time-consuming process. Uh, even the chain link for the heated bed was uh, pre-installed with the wires. And uh, the, the carriages for the uh, X-axis were also pre-installed. Uh, they came in two parts, uh, the left and right uh, axis carriages. And um, some of the pulley assemblies were also uh, pre-installed. So before I started building the X5S, I actually had set aside about uh, 5 to 10 hours of free time and I was quite surprised that it actually took me 4 to 5 hours to build this thing. Uh, unlike the X3S which had uh, many parts that you need to assemble yourself, uh, only a few parts were pre-assembled and uh, I think the only the hot end assembly was pre-assembled on the X3S. So the X5S actually is easier to build than the X3S and uh, yeah it took me four to five hours uh, and that does not include the time needed to uh, fine tune the printer and uh, set it up before you do I did my first uh, prints, test prints on it. The X5S has many similarities with the X3S in terms of components used but it also has a lot of uh, some other differences. Um, for example, it uses the same uh, MK2A bit, the same size and uh, type of bit used on the X3S. And it also features the same uh, Melzi control board and the 12-volt uh, uh, power supply that is also featured on the X3S. And uh, it also does not feature a MOSFET. As you can see, the, the MOSFET down here is something that I installed myself. It did not come with a MOSFET. It also comes with a uh, the same LCD screen as the X3S. Since it has the same uh, heated bed and power supply unit, 12 volts power supply unit, uh, it also has the same problem as the X3S. Uh, by that I mean the bed refuses to go up beyond 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. Uh, in order to 
understand the problem and find a solution to it you can view my earlier video on on my upgraded x3s in that video i i describe in detail the problem and how you can solve it using a 24 volt power supply and if you want to uh, upgrade this printer with uh, the, a 24 volt power supply i strongly recommend getting at least 20 amps uh, a 20 amp psu in uh, instead of uh, 15 amps because uh, 15 amps is a, is a bit uh, low if you are using a 24 volt 15 amp power supply make sure you uh, dial down the voltage to about 21 volts because i heard that uh, some people actually have their damage their power supply because they use 24 volts and they only have 15 amps of uh, maximum current pull and uh, this caused the damage to the PSU and uh, my X3S feature, uh, uses a 15 amp PSU and uh, I had the voltage dialed down to 21 volts and uh, so far I've been printing over 130 hours on it and I've not faced any issues with the heated bed or the PSU and uh, for the X5S if you're uh, planning to get a 24 volt PSU then maybe you can get a 20, 20 amp version or a 25 amp PSU which would do a better job now unlike many other Cartesian 3D printers the X5S features a cube shape design and as mentioned earlier uses the uh, Core XY design approach which is great uh, this this sort of uh, this this frame is actually very rigid, uh, more rigid than the X3S. And uh, if you want something that can print above 100 mms, uh, this printer is a great uh, choice to have. However, the uh, main board does not uh, is not suitable if you want to go beyond 100 mms. Uh, for for any high speed printing, you probably need to upgrade to a better board and a better stepper motor drivers. The X5S also uh, features a cleaner design. Uh, there is less uh, wiring mess that you can see here uh, compared to other printers like the X3S which has a lot of wiring all over the place and a separate console box. On the X5S the, the LCD panel and the power supply are, and also the main board are attached to the frame itself. So this brings for a uh, cleaner footprint, a smaller footprint. If you are a beginner to 3D printing, uh, I wouldn't recommend the X5S because this is a printer that uh, requires a bit of knowledge on electronics and uh, if you're someone with a little bit of uh, some basic experience with 3D printing, it is a great choice. However, if you are just starting out in 3D printing, I wouldn't recommend it because as I mentioned earlier, there are some quality control issues and you need to troubleshoot the uh, some problems that you might face with the electronics and all that and so uh, a beginner will be better off uh, getting something that with, with less that requires less technical knowledge after i print finished building the uh, printer and did my first test prints i was actually very surprised by the print quality that it was capable of producing um, it is certainly better than the x3s and uh, it has less issues and uh, also, uh, I like the fact that the Z-axis uses linear bearings instead of pulleys as featured on the X3S and the uh, CR10, other printers such as the CR10. Um, the X5S actually has a nice compromise between uh, using linear bearings and pulley bearings because uh, the axes that move the most are the X and Y axis and uh, these, these axes get uh, pulley bearings which is a good idea because pulley bearings are a lot more durable than linear bearings and they require uh, less servicing than the linear bearings while the z-axis does not move much and it, it gets linear bearings here so the x5s actually has the best of both worlds i would say on the z-axis i do not get much issues with uh, layer shifts and all that and uh, yeah, Tron C has made a good compromise between the two bearing types on this uh, X5S. Even without uh, upgrades done on my X5S, uh, I'm actually quite surprised it was able to print very well. There are certainly uh, a nice list of up upgrades that you can print for the X5S, and one of them includes the uh, 
um, tension belt straighteners because the if you look at these x-axis the belts are not parallel they are crooked actually so the belt straightener helps solve this problem and uh, other users have also redesigned the x-axis uh, carriages to make them uh, more durable because uh, the current design uh, according to some users uh, is actually not very uh, will not will not hold its shape over over a long period of time the X5S features uh, a Bowden extruder setup and also a model cooling fan. This is a feature that wasn't uh, found on the X3S and uh, it's a nice to see that uh, Tron X5 has included a model cooling fan here. And uh, like the X3S, the, the hot end fan is also a bit noisy. Uh, when I first got it, it was rubbing against the metal casing and creating a loud buzz. And uh, but, however, after some time, it's the the buzz just went away, and now it's uh, functioning okay. But uh, it's still a bit noisy, and uh, you can always upgrade it to a full metal hot end, and uh, you need to print your own mounts for that. So uh, one flaw in the design of the X5S is the. Uh belts are not aligned on along the x-axis as you can see here one is like this and the other one is straight and uh, there is an upgrade for this which is called the uh, belt straightener this is something that you need to install if you want the belts to be straight now the belts on the x5s um, do not have a uh, their own tensioners um, however the only way you can tighten the belts without installing any belt tensioners is to just uh, move these motor mounts back as you can see there's a bit of uh, there's a keyhole here which you can pull that allows you to pull the motors back these uh, the X and Y motors so what you do is uh, you install it when the motors are forward and when you need to tighten them you just pull it to the back the X5S features an enclosure for the uh, power supply which is a nice feature to have it's a simple acrylic enclosure here that covers all the terminals and uh, it actually is a good safety feature to have and it also includes a uh, integrated filament spool holder the main board features a cooling fan that you need to install yourself I mean the wiring and over here is the LCD screen So now I've powered up the uh, printer and as you can hear here, the uh, fan is actually quite loud although it's not rubbing against the, uh, the metal casing. The X5S is shipped with a uh, plastic sheet like this that, uh, that comes with a blue mas masking tape uh, pre-installed. However, mine was already damaged uh, after a few prints which is why I've removed the, uh, the the blue painter's tape and I uh, decided to print directly on the uh, the surface itself as you can see here there are some uh, glue stains from my glue stick and uh, this uh, this sheet is not as as flat as a piece of glass uh, I do notice that it is lower in the center and uh, higher on the sides so it's nice to see that uh, Tron XY has included chain links for the X5S which wasn't included in the uh, X3S. It certainly helps keep wiring neat. And as you can see here, uh, I, what I mentioned earlier is that I, my chain link toe mount was uh, uh, was missing, so I had to design my own and print it. So these are some issues that you need to face when if you're installing an X5S. Apparently, this is quite a common problem because uh, I've. I've read in uh, Facebook groups that uh, a lot of other users have also the same issues with the X5S uh, it comes with missing parts, sometimes broken parts or missing screws so you need to be prepared for that and uh, I recommend having uh, a multimeter at hand so a multimeter is compulsory to have if you want to if you want to ins uh, build a printer like this due to its poor quality control you a multimeter is needed if you want to uh, troubleshoot stuff to measure voltage and all that and over here I have the uh, MOSFET installed 
this one with a, with a big big heat sink. It is compulsory if you are using a, a 3D printer like this with a large uh, heated bed. You must install a MOSFET, otherwise you risk damaging the board or uh, causing the printer to catch fire. So here I have a few samples of uh, objects that I printed with the X5S as you can see here. These were printed without any upgrades except for the uh, MOSFET for the heated bed. And as you can see it is very impressive. Uh, this one was printed for a friend of mine and he wanted a 0.8mm wall thickness which is why you can see some of the vertical lines from the infill. So overall it's very clean and uh, I'm quite surprised at the quality that it can produce because I did not get the same uh, quality with the X3S. Here is a Benchy and uh, I would say that it's printed very well and even the text at the back of the Benchy you can uh, you can make out a bit of the text for example hashtag 3D and the, the letters CHY can be seen. And uh, over here we have a calibration cube. 20 millimeter calibration cube. Now this video is about the X3 X5S with uh, in its standard form without any upgrades except for the MOSFET. Uh, I will be coming up with another video featuring upgrades for the X5S uh, once I've done once I'm done with the upgrades and I'll be publishing that video in a few weeks time. So if you've enjoyed this video, you found it useful, please like it and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And until uh, the next video, I'll see you again. Goodbye.